Welcome. Uh, we're doing a bit more standard today. Uh, I've uh, put together a soldier's uh, deck. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I think many other people have had the same idea. Um, so I'm, I've managed to accumulate four Valiant Veterans. Uh, I've just wildcarded wild four Yoshin Tacticians, because it's just an uncommon. Yes, it's a four drop, but... Um, if everything in your deck is a soldier, I think this is quite good. Uh, I don't know about the mana curve here. We've got lots of two drops. I didn't. Uh, uh, I haven't wild carded these ones yet to get four copies of each. So I've just got two recruitment officers and two frontliners. Uh, I think we'll uh, we'll stick with this for the moment and uh, think about getting more later on. Uh, and I've got two Protect the Negotiators as uh, a counter spell to uh, try and protect us from board wipes. Uh, I think, yeah, I'll, I'll go straight into uh, Best of One. Okay, we've got both Protect the Negotiators, interesting. I remember to put an island in the deck, is the question. Yes, I did, good. Oh, yeah, island. It is overpowered. I did, do not blame them. That's why you always run one island. Easy wins. Okay. Try the same trick. Get to go first, which is pretty good. Island. Nope, he's, he's going to play on Brave Man. Interesting, okay. Black, blue. Right, uh, what do we want to do here? I'm going to... I'm greedy, I go for Valiant Veteran. Because I can't protect it with Zephyr Sentinel. Nice. Uh, we could protect the negotiators and take that out. But it's only a 2 1 flyer. Uh, Do we just chuck this guy out and block? A waste of a Zephyr Sentinel. We'll see. He 
He has cut down, there we go. Oh, ninjutsu. It's a ninjutsu deck. Oh, nice. Okay. We need this land. Eh, uh, how about we brutal Cathar this? He's used one removal spell. Slows down his attacks as well, and uh, he can't ninjutsu if he can't attack. Okay. See if he wants to trade off with the Cathar Commando. I think I'd be very happy if he decides to do that. And we could blow up the Celestus, but yeah, I've uh, I let it go to the night time there, but uh, we'll see if we get punished for that. Okay, Prosperous Thief, um, let's see, are we at, what stage are we at? I'm going to do my Cemetery Protector now. I don't know if that's after blockers were assigned or before, actually. Uh, we'll get rid of the Adversary. In fact, it's after blockers are assigned, so we do not get to block. Sadly. Um, I think I just go Yoshin Tactician here and do lots of damage. Okay, so yeah, yes, that's right. He phases out one of my guys, so that saves some damage. This is where we can just play Valiant Veteran, because we've got mana up for the uh, counter spell. Another one, okie doke. Uh, Cast it with Kicker. I don't think we can cast it with Kicker, can we? Pretty good going. Seemed to be a good plan to just hold the Valiant Veteran until I could cast it with uh, Counter Spell back up.
Right, okay. We have one of our one drops. Okay, I'm going to Cathar Commando. And he's going to blow it up. There we go. Let's protect his Bankbuster. But it means he doesn't draw with this Bankbuster. And uh, now... Awkward situation here. We didn't draw a third land. Uh, let's see. We could just go for the Valiant Veteran. We've got Cathar Commando at end of his turn. Maybe that's maybe that's the right choice. Right, so we need one mana up to blow up the bank buster. Uh, I, I'm going to say it's, this is a good move. Maybe it's maybe it's too late. Oh well, we got three mana as well. We'll go for the Valiant Veteran. Uh-huh. Yep. Very nice. Well, we got a, at least we got a one drop.
It is a land. Some gold sentinel again, I think. He's got nothing in the graveyard that comes back. But, uh... Sushi, right. Good Ottawara. I think we want we need the land. Good draw. Yeah, sushi. Good. Unearth the ocean frontliner and exile the valiant veteran. That's a possibility. Or we could do. We could just wait and do some stuff at instant speed on his turn. This Zephyr Sentinel can be a a four three flyer, of course. So worth considering. What I didn't though, what I didn't think about was unearthing a frontliner and bouncing it with a Sentinel. That would have been quite clever. Okay, that's uh, that's a terrifying card. It's 
So what we do is we've got a player creature. Submit zero. And then we've got to do a kick to protect the negotiators to counter this because it looks like he's got two mana up already. So we want a three point passing. Uh, throwing pool. Well, it's uh, it's tapped, isn't it? What's well, so hoping for an untapped mana, and then I could do all of these. Uh, let's just sort of go for. Do we have double white? Yeah, that's awkward. We only have one white mana <laughs> uh, for uh, the valiant veteran ability. That is. Uh, let's read. Let's read this this card. Or we'll activate an ability of a creature of the chosen type. Secluded courtyard will actually work. Okay, that's cool. I'm just going to play Thran Portal just to confirm it comes into play tapped. Yeah, it does. Okay, Yoshin Frontliner. And we've got five mana. Valiant Veteran works. That's nice. That's attack. Uh, that's getting through, so... Uh, let's, let's pump, actually, the 3-3. Three, three. So it's a bit more awkward to block. Okay, Gala Greeters can buy the dust. don't really have is reach. We can't do do that last point of damage very easily. Okay, so we're dead next turn. Uh, got Cemetery Protector. Good game. Okay. That'll be another soldier deck. I don't have any failures. Uh, Suffer Sentinel.
Okay, he's got a Ganja, sure. Why not? Uh, right. Right, what does the... Right, the Dawn Guard is a 3-3. Three, three. I don't think he's running more than one again, Joe. Oh, he's got real cap fire, okay, sure. In my experience, they usually draw about three of these, so. Uh, we'll try Sun Gold Sentinel. Valiant Veteran. See if he's got a third removal card. Two cards left. Um so what we what do we think? He's probably got instant speed removal for the veteran. So I can't I can't block Thalia. I can't risk it. Right, he's got the Wandering Emperor, of course he does, so he gets to win one of these fights. Probably the Brute Cathar fight. So he had, yes, he had removal spell number three in his uh, creature deck. Uh, let's see. Let's do that again. Can just give this first strike. Sure. Remember your training. Okay. Good game, I guess. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, he's got all the trimmings in this deck, so I don't have any Siege Veterans yet. Oh, he's going to take ages. So, I don't think we have any good answer to Brutal Cathar. Now I think of it. Maybe uh, Ottawara <laughs> is the only card we've got to uh, that's actually direct removal. Okay, there's Ottawara. Uh sure. Then it's gone. And it's exiled, of course. Uh huh. Nice.
Shut up. Shut up. Okay, yeah, we could Sun Gold Sentinel to take out that uh, Phyrexian Dragon Engine. We can play <coughs> Oh, Cemetery Protector, by the way, also removes things from the graveyard. I will block him. I'm sure I get blown up, but that's fine. Okay, Mishra. Oh well, I guess we stop Mi uh, Mishra melding. That's something. Uh, right. I think I want this as a land drop, to be honest. He might have a sweeper, but that's fine. Right, uh, no attacks. Ah, oh, he's got that. Okay, another one. Makes sense. So, these meld together and become something obscene, I guess. Um, I could hold the planes. Actually, I don't, I'm not sure there's any point holding the planes. Because he's probably... I bet this guy can make you discard cards. Oh, and we're getting a, actually we're getting a card from the Gavoni anyway. It does get revealed. I keep forgetting about the uh, Sun Gold Sentinel ability. I don't think I've got Coven though, unfortunately. Yes, he did have a third one. Short enough. Right. So, this will enter, attacks and attacking. It is a 9 9. Okay. Three damage, destroy artifact or planeswalker, menace and trample. Oh, minus one, minus one to all my creatures, fair enough. And it doesn't even have a casting cost, so I don't think I can blow it up with. Um, my uh, blast zone. 
Everything's dead. Great. Uh, we're only taking 14 damage. Oh, it has double strike, yeah. It was 16 damage. Do feel like wild carding those extra one drops now. And we're on the draw. Okay, that's nice. We do get an untapped land. So we'll play that one first. Okay, Gix. Fair enough. I think. Yeah, do resolute reinforcements and double block. And three mana. Cathar seems risky. Try the Gavoni Dawn Guard. Sure. Something suspicious is going on. <laughs> Sacrifices must be made. I guess we can do two things. At instant speed, which is quite good. Cool, good to see Liliana in the graveyard. So Zephyr Sentinel, we bounce this, Zephyr Sentinel becomes a 3-2. Can trade off with Gix. It means we can't kill Liliana next turn, but Never mind. Of course, we could have discarded that to Liliana. Never mind. Maybe we just discard Brutal Cathar. Don't have time for you. 
Okay. Maybe I'll glutton. the cafe <laughs> we all have things we'd rather the trouble it takes all my effort just to take out a planeswalker still on 21 life uh, it's got card draw no I didn't do anything so yeah and then he's got Sheldred so I don't think we've got a way of dealing with Sheldred to be honest so we're just going to concede that one So I think it's, uh, we're just going to go up to eight one drops. Uh, probably we drop a couple of the ocean tacticians. But it feels kind of bad to do that. Yeah, Cemetery Protect is pretty good, but um, we can drop it, drop it for the moment. We're still figuring out the deck, I think. Uh, Gavoni Dawn Guard, I guess, is pretty good, but maybe we can drop two of them. Yeah, excuse me. Finish the deck. There we go. It's a pretty basic uh, linear deck at this point. Um, we could go for... Um, maybe the Wandering Emperor. So at least we have one removal card. The old uh, double deserted beach start. We'll keep it. Oh well. 
Blue Tempo, I guess. Probably a bit too slow to beat uh, Blue Tempo. Good. Third land. Uh, we could try Sun Gold Sentinel. We'll probably get countered though. play. Probably use my mana to, to play something at instant speed at the end of this turn. And then play a Sun Gold Sentinel. Uh, right. Let's do some stuff at instant speed. Yeah, if you don't force him to use his mana, then he does have other ways of using it, of course. So it's not a complete disaster if people are uh, countering your spells. But now he's got the terror. Yeah. Sure. Now he's got the second terror. <laughs> so it's interesting. I thought, oh yeah, let's play some graveyard hate in the deck. And that'll slow down the blue deck. Nah, <laughs> it's not a chance. Unless it's like a turn one Lantern of the Lost. It's not going to do much. Draw no tacticians. I think I swing in with the sentinel. Right, I think we protect our life turtle. And I think we'll just go for Valiant Veteran, see if this gets through.
Mm, it did, okay. Uh, yeah, that's swinging in the air. Back, sure. And and turn. But it's nearly lethal. He's got the just needs to counter resolute reinforcements. damage have I got? I've got 14 damage on the board. I imagine he's got ways of uh, stopping it. Uh, if I do block and I, pl I get somehow resolve a tactician, then that's 13 damage. on the ground, okay. Another blocker on the ground, okay. It's, uh, I feel like this is a close one. So the Ocean Tactician, if that resolves, I, I'm through with 10 damage, and I've got two blockers on the ground for the Terrors. Uh, he's doing 8 damage, but, but no, he's coming back with 10 damage, or at least flip and he wins. Uh, or I could tr just go in, get in with 8 damage and have 2 blockers. Go for the tactician. Uh, let's think about this. I think we, yeah, we'll just attack with these two. Get in for 10. Unless we want to stay back and block with one of them. Because that is 8 damage in the air. Veteran maybe can get through. Let's try that. What happens? Do they flip? Island, they don't flip. Okay. It's conceded. Oh, wow. I can't believe we won that one. I had the slowest start imaginable, and I was on the draw. Yeah, they go blue tempo. He doesn't always have it. It feels like they always have it, but... This is fine. Let's see if they can see to the island. OK. 
Okay, uh, what should we do? Oh yeah, resolute reinforcements. Best move possible, I think. Well, maybe I could have played a Sun Gold Sentinel whilst he was tapped out. You see. Maybe that was the correct move. Um... I think we don't go for Valiant Veteran yet. Go for Sun Gold Sentinel. That resolves. Uh, let's keep that in my graveyard. That's dead. Okay, interesting. Fable. Okay, this is where we play. Oh, Valiant Veteran, Valiant Veteran. Sounds good to me. And then he needs a sweeper. Three damage sweeper. Brotherhood's End is uh, the new one. Oh, he right, he's going for expensive stuff. He's got Infernal Grasp. One of those is down, so he doesn't have a sweeper. Good news. Oh, secluded courtyard for soldier, and we can uh, pump everything up. That seems good. You see, this is how that deck is supposed to work. That is the that is the difference between uh, be not just being on the play, but getting a getting a decent hand. That's quite tough to play against. It was just yeah, he literally needed uh, a three damage sweeper to stay in that game. Uh, yeah, that's that's actually got me four wins. It was a uh, a shock victory against the mono blue tempo before that as well. I think he was, well, he was hoping those Delvers were going to flip and that would have given him lethal. Anyway, this is the deck. We just added uh, two more recruitment officers, two more Yoshin frontliners to make it a bit a bit lower to the ground, which which makes sense if you're pumping everything up with Valiant Veterans. Uh, we've still got four Yoshin Tacticians. We, we did drop the, um, the Cemetery Protectors, even though I do think, I do like that card quite a lot, but uh, you have to make sacrifices. Uh, and we chucked in a Wandering Emperor to have a removal spell, basically. Uh, we've cut a couple of Gavoni Dawn Guards as well. But yeah, it's now so now it's eight one drops, nineteen two drops, three no four three drops, five four drops. Uh yeah, we done, we went down to one Cathar Commando. Maybe it's more of a sideboard card, but I think I think it's fine in the main deck as well. I only have one Guardian of Benalia, of New Benalia, so uh, uh, th three Sun Gold Sentinels seem, seem relevant. We, we didn't ever activate the ability here. I sort of forgot about the ability. It can be tricky to get Coven. Uh, Resolute Reinforcements is cool, and we had some fun with Zephyr Sentinel bouncing it back to replay it and get another creature. Zephyr Sentinel won me a game against the Blue Tempo deck. Could, uh, it can get bigger, then it can get pumped up, and can trade with a uh, Haughty Jin. 
which is nice. We ran, so we ran the two counter spells, protect the negotiators. I think the only thing I countered was a, it was Helena and Elena. But that was that was a good move. That won me that game, I think. Unless I'm misremembering. Of course, you can play Denet because he's a soldier. Uh, I've got one brutal Cathar, but uh, it's probably going to get blown up. Got the two Dawn Guards for a bit of um, card advantage. Sky Strike Officer we didn't see, but that can give you card advantage as well. Uh, Wandering Emperor as a bit of removal and Yoshin Tactician. I kind of don't want to play Wandering Emperor just because it uh, the, uh, she makes um, Samurais. It's kind of against the theme of the deck. Uh... Yeah, but yeah, I'd rather play the Cemetery Protector. Anyway, and uh, we've got a quite a complicated mana base here. We, we, we're trying to incorporate a Mishra's Foundry and a Blast Zone, which I think uh, I counted the the sources of mana. I think we've got nineteen white and fourteen blue, so we should have enough to cast our spells in theory. But it's just uh, we have a little issue with tap land sometimes, like getting the two deserted beach opener. We had a couple of times. Uh, yeah, we've got because we're running three brokers hideout and two sparrow headquarters. We've got five out and out tap lands, so that can slow the deck down a little bit. Uh, Obviously, you can replace all the Broker's Hideouts with Ardekar Wastes, if you have those. I, I haven't uh, wildcarded these yet. But uh, yeah, that's uh, early days for this deck, I think. Uh, there's a lot of improvements to make. Uh, yeah, we saw the... Um, if I go to Not Collected Soldiers, we can see... Oh look, there's well, there's one. My Royal Shield of Argive. It's the four drop soldier. Which stops your opponent casting spells uh, or activating abilities during your turn, which is pretty interesting. Hmm. Feel like it's missing a few here. Ah, that's because I've got four drops selected. So, yeah, we don't have Thalia. We don't have Siege Veteran. We don't have Myrel. And we don't have Harbin. So these these are kind of kind of important. Uh, maybe you don't have to play Thalia. And if, if you don't play Thalia, you can play more spells in the deck. Maybe play four, protect the negotiators. And Fortified Beachhead is the special land uh, that you can get. Quite nice. Another multi-land, basically. Just for the soldier deck. So a lot of improvements to make, potentially. Uh, anyway, I think that is a video. Uh, thanks for watching.